Hello there. Today we're going to look at a number line with 12 large tick marks. Let's number this line. We'll skip count by 5 starting at 0. Then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. But look here, between 0 and 5, we know there's numbers between 0 and 5, right? Well, let's count them. We start at 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're back at 5. We can almost imagine smaller tick marks in between 0 and 5, right? Now let's count by 1s between 5 and 10. Which numbers would we count between 5 and 10? From 5, we count 6, 7, 8, 9, and then we get to 10. Once again, you can see these little tick marks representing the ones we counted. How many small tick marks did we make between 5 and 10? We are counting four numbers between each of these large tick marks. Now what if we wanted to count to 58? Just like how 7 was here between 5 and 10, 58 will also be found between two numbers on our number line. But which ones? Between which two numbers will we find 58? Let's see. 58 is going to be way over here. It's greater than 55 and lesser than 60. So it will be somewhere in here. Well, to get there, we don't have to count by ones. Let's count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Now let's visualize those four small tick marks. Perfect. Now we can count by ones. 56, 57, 58. There we go, we found 58. Let's review. How did we get here? First, how many fives did we count? To get to 55, we counted 11 fives. Then, to get from 55 to 58, how many ones did we count? Starting at 55, we counted one, two, three ones to get to 58. So we have 11 fives and three. How can we write that as a multiplication sentence? We counted by five 11 times. So that's 11 times five. Then we added three. So this would be 11 times five in parentheses because we did that first, plus three. And that gets us to 58. Perfect. Let's look at another problem. Now we want to tell time on a clock. No, not a digital clock, that's too easy. That's better. Now I know, it's a little tricky to figure out at first. But I think of it like this. Doesn't this kind of look like a rolled up number line? What if we can unwrap this into a flat number line like this? Now we have to label our number line. When we look at a clock, how many minutes are represented by traveling once around the clock? Every time the minute hand goes around the clock, we've passed one hour. And in one hour, there are 60 minutes. So this number line will represent 60 minutes. Let's put zero here and 60 here. And on a clock, each of our tick marks represents five minutes. So let's number our number line. Zero, then five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. That looks familiar. We have our number line again. Let's say we arrived at school at 7.37 a.m. 
how can we find that on the number line? First, let's put 7 o'clock here at 0 and 8 o'clock here at 60. Now our number line represents the 60 minutes between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock. So how are we going to find minute 37? In between which two numbers will we find 37? Thirty-seven will appear between thirty-five and forty. To get there, what should we do? On our number line, we will count to thirty-five by fives. That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. That's seven fives. Now to get from minute thirty-five to minute thirty-seven, Let's draw in those small tick marks. How do we get from minute 35 to minute 37? We will count by ones, 36, 37. So how many fives did we count and how many ones did we count? We counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 fives, and 1, 2, ones. 7 fives and 2 ones. How can we write that as a number sentence? We counted by 5 7 times and added 2. So that's 7 times 5 in parentheses plus 2. That's great. Try one on your own. How can we count to 742? To get to 42 minutes, we'll need to end up between 40 and 45. So let's count to 40 by fives. That's 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight fives. Then we draw in our new tick marks for ones. Then count one, two to 42. That's eight fives and two ones. Great job. I think you've got the hang of it. Now it's time to look at the clock. Just like before, we have our number line. Now it's just in a circle. Once again, we have our 12 large tick marks, and then we have four smaller tick marks in between. We know how to do this. So this is what the clock looked like when I got into work. But what time is that? Let's look at the minute hand first. How can we find out what time it is? Let's first count by fives. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Now, since the minute hand is pointing between these two large tick marks, what should we do next? Great! Now let's look at the hour hand. For hours, we count by ones on the large tick marks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not quite to the seven yet. So that's six hours and 48 minutes, 6.48 a.m. That's pretty early. No wonder I need a nap. While I catch up on some sleep, why don't you see if you can tell what time is shown on this clock? Great job today.